View bobbing in first person shooters is essential in making movement feel more responsive. This video will go over how to implement view bobbing based on player movement. Before I start, in my scene I have a character controller that I quickly put together. If you want to know how to make a character controller, there will be a video in the description on how. Now to set up your player character for this view bobbing system, create a separate object that is a child of your player object. This will act as a pivot for your player's weapon. Make sure this object is in the same position as your player's camera to ensure that nothing weird will occur due to the offset origins. With that done, create two new classes. The first class will focus on having the object it is attached to follow the position of a target transform. The second class will apply a position offset to the first class. Now inside the position follower, copy down these variables. Remove the start function and in the update function, simply assign the current class's transform position to the target transform with the offset added. With that done, the first class is complete. Now in the second class, have it require the position follower class and add in the following variables. Now in the start function, initialize the follower instance and store a reference to the original offset. And in the update function, use the player's horizontal and vertical inputs to determine whether or not the bobbing will have an effect. Now it is time to do some simple math. The way the view bobbing will work is by using the negative absolute value of a sinusoidal function. The function that will be used here will be the sine function as this function starts at 0, 0. To add more of an effect, the applying of a horizontal offset will be done. To do this, a regular cosine function will be applied to the right vector of the origin created earlier. With that line complete, all we have to do is apply the sinusoidal function outputs to the position follower offsets. With that implemented, the bobbing of weapons or hands is complete, or kind of complete. All that needs to be done is have the pivot that is, has the hands or weapons as children to follow the rotation of the player's camera. This is very easy to implement. To do this, a rotation follower script can be made, which simply assigns self-rotation to the rotation of another object. With that done, hand bobbing has been successfully implemented. Be sure to like and subscribe to support my channel, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Goodbye.